Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Ben, with Maker Decor. For today's video, we're gonna talk about printing. So I've gotten a lot of questions, especially on Instagram. Uh, some of the stuff I printed out there and they had a lot of questions, how did I do it? So that's what we're gonna cover in today's video. For today's purposes, there's three ways to print, really. Uh, you can go, you can use a printer and print it out yourself, but there's a couple of different routes that you can try that we're gonna cover. Uh, you can go to a sign shop, they'll help you out there. And then the third option is you can go online. We're gonna cover all that in today's video. Let's get started. So first is the printer that I have. So the printer I have is not meant to print props or anything like that. It's, it was just the cheapest large format, I mean printing wise, it prints 24 inches wide printer that was available at that price. I think I paid $6.99 for it. Uh, it's great, it's more of a plotter printer. It's made more for like printing out um, like architectural designs and a lot of um, blueprints for um, buildings or anything like that require a lot of specification for sizing. And I use those to kind of print out my marquees. Um, it's just a black and white so it doesn't take a lot of ink. But since I had it, I said, you know what? Let me try printing out some props and see what happens. We ran out of ink pretty quick. <laughs> we realized that. So that printer is not really meant for that. But also when you get into large format printing, you can get into a little bit more expensive and um, some of them go up $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, a big investment for bigger printers, which have more ink storage and kind of make that more accessible to be able to print a lot of prints and be able to uh, make a lot of props with those. This one is not for that, but um, I know a lot of people want to look at the cheapest printer and see what would happen, see how many prints would before it would like cut out. And that's what this one did. I believe it was like eight prints before we really started running out of, I think we ran out of yellow. So now we're gonna try to laminate these. I got this, um, it's a cold roll laminator. I'll put all the info below, um, but let's see what happens. And do I know what I'm doing with any of this? No, we're just seeing what happens. So this is just a cold roll laminator. Um, this is a two foot wide one. I got this on Amazon. I'll put everything below, but um, nah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just two rollers and it kind of smushes things together. So I bought this roll of, of just laminate. So, that's what we're gonna use. Check that out, that's laminated. Oh man, I got a little bubble here and I made some mistakes, but that's actually pretty good. I might roll it through there again and probably tighten the pressure. But man, that made a big difference. That's laminated now. I can put a marker, whatever I want. The other thing is going to a sign shop and that's what, I, that's what we used to do a lot. Uh, there was a sign shop that we went and you'd print them out um, just smaller cutouts maybe uh three feet around three feet wide three by three three by four something around there you're looking anywhere for us was about 60 bucks to over a hundred dollars it's going to change a lot depending on the size that you get from your print shop but they can definitely help out even stores like ups and like fedex the kinkos they'll do prints but you have to give them the image and a lot of things with the, like the print shop that we used to go to they required us to get the image so i'll show you on you'll see on this video of you can just get them and download them there. Pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty inexpensive. Yeah, and you can get them from Etsy, pretty inexpensive just to buy those. And you kind of, um, you make sure you need the SVG file because it's a vector format. And pretty simple, what that means is you can make that image bigger from that little image on a computer. You can size it three, four, five feet big and it's not gonna get all blurry on you. So you need SVG um, files. Don't use JPEG, it's, it, when they, um, make it bigger it's gonna pixelate and it'll look blurry 
So SVG files, um, they have them on Etsy, work out great. The last one we're gonna discuss is kind of um, one that I had tried online and I've never ordered any prints online um, for our props that we've made. Um, but I was like, you know, let me give it a try. Usually maybe you can find a better deal. And then um, I saw someone on Instagram um, go check her out pretty awesome the party crafter and she mentioned where she got her vinyl from and I said let me just give it a try I'm always scared about like ordering online you don't know what you're gonna get and the website looks a little old doesn't look I don't know so I just like you know what well, let's just see we'll find out together so I ordered it right and then um, the same woody that I had made here I ordered it from there man that thing was cheap um, I ordered it one day it got here within two days in the morning so basically it felt like a day and a half it was here and I paid regular shipping I didn't express or anything like that so man um, I'll link below the website where I got those at and to me that's gonna be a better option I went to the website it's pretty pretty easy to kind of navigate I just followed through just got the vinyl I got the removable one and we're gonna show you in a little bit how that works out um, I think I got it in what three by three uh, or four by three I'm not too sure but I ordered that it wasn't too expensive you'll see the pricing on there it was a pretty simple order put in my stuff and I got an email and then within a day and a half the two days later I got the package and we're gonna open that up to see how that came out but um, I'm pretty pleased with that so definitely go check out the party crafter man she had a lot of pretty cool stuff on her Instagram I'll try to link that down below I'm not gonna even lie, there's no comparison. This outdid my printer by far. This came out so clean. Oh man, so definitely <laughs> that work that website worked out great. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Uh, for the price I paid, I'm like, I would still have to do cut it out and put it on a, a foam board or chloroplast board whichever you want to do that with but i was paying i would have probably paid like almost 100 bucks for one of these for the sign shop to put it on a chloroplast for me but i can and that would just be one that was usually one character so i put two i was able to maneuver and put two characters on here which was great and so this would have been probably close to $200, maybe 150 to 200 bucks for both characters being made, but I just bought it for not even that much. And then I'll just put the chloroplast, oh man, great option. Let's take a closer look at that. That's how clean that looks. Man, this is pretty good size vinyl too. Oh man, it's removable, so I should be able to stick it and if I need to, I can just remove it off of a backdrop. Oh man, that's awesome. So I did want to talk about one more option like with something like this. So definitely try it out, especially if, if you're gonna try to do it online. Um, but what you could do if you're thinking about starting a business, instead of getting a printer, instead of, cause they, they'll go up to get this type of quality, you're gonna need a lot more than what this printer can offer. You can actually just order these and put them on and cut them out yourself. And I think you can still make a good chunk of profit by um, taking them off the sticky and putting them on foam board, cutting them out, doing that labor work, which is not going to be that difficult, especially if you get some more power tools, some more like um, better cutters than what I was doing. And then selling these, I think you'd make some money. Where your value is going to come into play is by actually getting these characters. Because a lot of people for parties, is they're, they're doing them for their daughter or their son or whatever they're doing, or they're just starting out. They don't have all those list of characters. They don't know where to get them. People just say, I, I want I want a Buzz Lightyear. I, I want a Frozen character. <laughs> Elsa, I, I want her. I want her standing. I want her doing this or I just want this. I don't have that. I want that printed. Well, you know you can go buy them from Etsy. Buy a couple for like $4, $3 from Etsy of all the images that you're going to need. And you already know you can show this image. Look, I can get you this printed. I can, and you know, you'll ship it off. You get it printed. You put it on that foam board. You have it set up and you can start your own little business that way. And if it takes off and you know, you know what? There is good money in this. I'll invest in a printer. I'll invest in all this. Um, get all the kind of all the extra supplies you're going to need. That is a great option, but man for the pricing and quality and then you taking the extra steps of finding the characters and cutting them out on that foam board 
I think this might be a better option to start out if that's what you're thinking or even if you're just doing them for your home party. Pretty simple. Order it for a couple of bucks, put it on a foam board or stick it to a backdrop. I think that is a definitely the best option and for me from now on I'm just probably going to order from them. I'm, I'm not going to waste my printer, my time on my printer doing all this stuff. I'm just going to order some other more products. Alright, well thanks for watching. Hopefully some of this was helpful for you and I'll catch you on the next one.